Hey folks, in this video, we're gonna be revisiting how to send audio from OBS to a conference line, but this time we're gonna do it all on the Mac or the Ryzentosh, so let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com. Link is in the description. So I've had a lot of people say that they like the whole concept of sending audio to a conference line without a lot of overhead on the computer. But I had a lot of people in the comments when I redid that video did it for vMix. Well, actually, I need to do it for vMix. Um, yeah, <laughs> so I just remind me, I need to do this again for vMix. But um, they wanted to know how to do this whole thing in OBS on the Mac. So let's go ahead and cut over to the Mac and let's do this. We're gonna be leveraging the um, virtual cable to make this thing possible. So let's go over here and let's open up OBS and let me turn all this off. And we're gonna set a new scene and point it to my webcam. All right, we're on the 920 here. And actually it can do way higher than that. All right, so we are now capturing an 9, 1920 by 1080. Let's go ahead and lock this. Now this is a little bit different because on the Mac we need to capture our audio. So we're gonna do an audio input of webcam audio. Let's go ahead and select the C920. So now we're col collecting audio from, from the webcam here. All right, so now what we want to do is send our audio out into the a way for our uh, conference call that we're gonna use to pick that up. Now, let's see if we can go up here to our speaker and we're gonna output over our VB cable, which we did install the exact same way. Link is in the description for what you need to do to do that. So we are now gonna send audio out. Now let's go here to the advanced and let's do our monitor out because we want to be able to pick up whatever's coming in. All right, so we have this here. So now let's go over here. Let's go to freeconferencecall.com and let's see, do they have a Mac equivalent app that we can download? I hope they do. Download app. Yeah, it's just downloading. So I have no idea if this is going to be a, a Mac appropriate app or not. Yes, it does have an app for the Mac. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to host a call here. And I guess I need to log in. All right. So we're here and we're going to join with computer audio. All right, let's just confirm our audio here. And recording, we want to do the VB cable, playback, we don't want it to loop back, so I'm just gonna do built-in output because I don't want it to loop back into the call that we have. All right, so I think we're back here. All right, so I'm gonna dial into the number now. And I guess I should be playing something so we can actually hear that. So let's go ahead and cut back over here and let's add some audio or some music or something. All right, so now that we have that, we need to come in here and also set that to be output because that's how we're sending the capturing the audio 
that's going out on the speakers, but that's the VB cable, which is going to our call. So we're back over here in the call. So now let's try dialing in again. Let's put this on the speaker. legit because if we come over here and stop the call so I just muted the climb all right let me mute myself and let's play the music again all right so that's it So once again, let's go ahead and leave the call here. End. Goodbye. All right, so I ended the call here. And once again, the VB audio cable comes to the rescue. Works exactly the same way that we did on the Windows version because there is a free conference call app that works on the Mac. And it also, obviously we just point OBS the idea is everything that's coming into OBS, you need to set it under your audio sources to be playing monitor and output because it's going to be playing all the sound on your computer. But instead, we're going to send all of our audio as our default audio in the Mac to the VB cable, which is our speaker. Sending all the audio to that, go to our free conference call, set our microphone as the other end of the VB cable, and then that's how everybody's able to hear. Now, just like we did before, this will work with any other application that you choose, Google Voice, Hangouts, Duo, whatever that you decide to use, you just have to set the mic on that application to the other end of the VB cable, and then you'll be able to hear it the exact same way. So hopefully for those who asked, Hopefully that answers your question and really straightforward. And this is something very, very powerful that you can actually give another way for people to participate in your church services who might not be too keen to the whole technology thing. Don't have a Facebook account. Don't mess with YouTube. Don't mess with computers, tablets, smartphones or nothing. They just need to call in to a 800 number or whatever place that you decide. And you can send the audio from your live stream to that call and people can still listen in. So very straightforward. Link is in the description to everything that we used and I hope that helps you. So if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. And I wanna thank the patrons who made this video possible. Their names are on the screen right now and you too can become a patron for as little as $1 a month where you help us train media ministries all over the world. Thank you so much for watching, folks, and we will see you on the next video later.